Osteomyelitis can progress to severe bone damage and joint infections. It primarily affects young children and older adults, especially those with compromised immunity or poor vascular health. Osteomyelitis is classified by duration, acute within two weeks, subacute two, six weeks, and chronic after six weeks. Infection risk increases with the severity of open fractures. The infection mechanisms include hematogenous spread through blood, contiguous factor from trauma or surgery, and direct inoculation from penetrating injuries, with S. aureus being a common pathogen. Host response to osteomyelitis varies based on systemic and local factors, like nutrition, vascular health, and immune status, influencing the infection's progression and severity. The Cierney Mater staging categorizes osteomyelitis by anatomical and physiological factors, guiding treatment strategies. It ranges from medullary infections to diffuse, unstable bone conditions. Common osteomyelitis organisms vary by age. S. aureus predominates, but other bacteria like Enterobacter and Salmonella are significant, especially in specific conditions like sickle cell anemia. Acute osteomyelitis mainly affects children and is often preceded by bacteremia. Staphylococcus aureus is the leading cause, and trauma can determine the infection site. The metaphysial regions of long bones are commonly affected in osteomyelitis. Bacteremia, often from other infections, allows bacteria to infiltrate these areas through nutrient arteries. Staphylococcus aureus's surface antigens help it adhere to bone collagen, while glycocalyx formation enhances bacterial binding, complicating treatment by resisting local immune responses. Metaphysial osteomyelitis is facilitated by unique vascular structures and high turnover of immature cells, which create environments conducive to bacterial invasion and infection. The infection process in osteomyelitis involves embolus entrapment in nutrient arteries, leading to bone necrosis and painful, pressure-filled exudate accumulation. As osteomyelitis progresses, exudate creates subperiosteal abscesses, further necrotizing bone and potentially spreading to surrounding soft tissues if unchecked. Osteomyelitis spreads along medullary cavities, destroying marrow and blood supply. Advanced stages can result in diaphyseal sequestration and joint infection through the physis. Infants and children with osteomyelitis show symptoms like failure to thrive and joint tenderness, while adults often experience back pain following urological procedures. Adults with osteomyelitis frequently report thoracolumbar spine pain and mild fever after procedures like urological surgeries, often accompanied by localized tenderness. Physical examination of osteomyelitis reveals systemic signs like fever and localized symptoms, including joint tenderness, swelling, and pseudoparalysis, indicating severe bone involvement. Osteomyelitis diagnosis involves clinical examination and tests like blood cultures, bone biopsies, and imaging studies, which help identify infection and guide treatment. Blood tests for osteomyelitis reveal elevated inflammatory markers like CRP and ESR, while imaging such as x-rays can show early bone changes within a week. Ultrasound may detect subperiosteal fluid early in osteomyelitis, while bone scans provide high sensitivity revealing increased activity in affected areas. MRI is crucial for osteomyelitis diagnosis, particularly in ambiguous cases, offering detailed views of bone marrow inflammation and aiding in precise treatment planning. Treatment for osteomyelitis includes pain management, joint splinting, and antibiotics to control infection spread. Therapy often extends beyond six months for complete resolution. Surgical drainage in osteomyelitis is needed if antibiotics fail to resolve symptoms. Clinical improvement and normalization of inflammatory markers guide cessation of antibiotic therapy. Managing advanced osteomyelitis, especially Schierny Mater stages 3 and 4, involves complex strategies to address extensive bone infection and restore stability. Differential diagnosis of osteomyelitis includes conditions like rheumatic fever, Ewing's sarcoma, and cellulitis. Accurate diagnosis requires distinguishing features like joint effusion and intense pain. Osteomyelitis complications include joint damage, bone growth issues, and the risk of chronic infection. Early intervention is crucial to prevent long-term skeletal impacts. Ah. <gasps> oh. Ma. Ah.